Hi everybody, it's Maggie from So Empty Handed, uh, here for day two of the Super Gaming Sling So Along. Today we're going to start um, putting together our bag. First thing that um, you need to do is prep your straps. So um, I've already gotten to the point where um, I can sew these, um, but I do want to show you how I did it because straps can be a little confusing. Now, if you don't want to do the straps, like actually putting the buckle onto the strap right now, that's fine. You can wait to the end to do that. But I don't like putting these on once these straps are attached to the bag. So I do this part first and then I don't have to worry about it later. More about the straps. The, the um, top strap is going to be your longer strap piece and the bottom strap is going to be your shorter piece. And what I've done is I have, I put the adjust, um, the adjuster will be on the top piece. And then, um, there are a couple ways that you can do this bottom strap. Um, sometimes I just, um, fold this over and I'll sew it and keep this like at a set, um, length that can't be adjusted. And that's totally fine. You're, you're going to be able to adjust this top one enough. Um, but this one I'm going to do a little different. So you can see here that I did, I folded over, I'm going to sew it to itself, and then I used a piece of um, elastic that I sewed together and slipped on here, and so then that's going to keep that tight. Let's start with the bottom shorter strap. Um, so if you want to have this little elastic piece on, you're going to go ahead and slip that on. The buckles that I have, they're side release plastic buckles, I'm using uh, one, um, one and a half inch. And so what you're going to do is um, you want to make sure that the way you put it on is the, um, when you pull the main part that's attached to the bag, when you, when you tug on that, it's going to stay still. Um, you want the free strap to be the one that adjusts. Okay, so this is the strap. I've got the um the right side so like the non-seam side of the elastic up like this and i'm going to come from the bottom pull that and i'm going to feed it back through here and pull that And then this part will get folded under. I'm going to fold it under once. And then I'm going to fold it under twice. Um, about half inch each time. Half, a quarter to a half inch. Um, and then I'm just going to clip it there. If I pull this. It's not really. This isn't really going anywhere. But if I pull that it does. So for the top strap. Which is the longer one. Um, I like to feed it through the tri-glide slider first. Okay, so I uh, don't have, this is just a strap, there's nothing on it. I will feed it through the tri-glide slider first. One side and then the other. And then, let's see, then I will fold this under once. This end over once, and then I'm going to sew it in place. This, um... Part of the buckle is very similar to the other part where I want to feed under first. So um, I've got this the way it is, right? And then what I want to do is, so this is the seat, the part that we sew together. Okay, and then I'm going to make a loop. I'm going to bring this around so there's it loops under itself like that. Okay, and I've got this free end. And I'm going to bring it to, I'm going to bring it under through the front yeah. and then I'm going to bring it back through like that. Okay. So that's why this is going to, now this is the part that's going to go through the adjuster and then this is the part it'll end up attaching, attaching to the bag. Kind of, it, you'll see. Okay, so then you take this, and this is kind of looped, right? So then you take this, you feed it through the top, 
And then you're going to feed it through again. And then you're going to pull it. Now you can adjust. So now, when I pull this, it's not moving. Because you don't want it to move when it's on you. So now that I have the straps part explained, I'm going to um, set up attaching them to the attachment pieces. So this is the top, you know, because your um, print is going with the small side to the top and the big side to the bottom. So your strap is going to come out here. To be honest, I don't really care which one of these ends up being um, the front or the back of the bag. Uh, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to do it like this. Um, so I kind of want this one on the front just because I feel like I got a lot of um, Han Solo, a lot of places. Um, so I'm going to try to let's have this one be um, on the front of the bag. So when you're looking at the bag when it's finished with the front pocket and front, this will be facing. I'm going to consider this the right side of the strap. And this the right side. So I'm going to flip it over. And so I have right sides together. And that's going to center right right in the center there. I'm, I like to um, have a little bit, like a quarter, quarter inch over the edge. So that way it gives you a little um, extra uh, in the seam. So that way it won't, hopefully won't tear out. I also, oh, I also didn't, forgot to mention, you do want to, um, use a lighter to um, to seal the edge of your cut edge of your strap um, so it will prevent fraying and then I'm going to take the sewing machine and I'm going to sew these three edges so I'm going to set that aside because I'm going to set this all up and then go bring it to my sewing machine and then this is the bottom one um, this time I am going to have Han be at the front I'm going to have this be my right side. This is my right side. So I'm going to flip it over. I have right sides together. Have a little bit off the edge. And then put this piece right sides together. And I'll do the same thing and I'll sew these edges. My sewing machine just sewed around the uh, three edges of the short strap and now um, to help keep this strap secure I am going to go back, back over at about a quarter inch and I'm going to um, sew back across at a quarter or at an eighth of an inch my apologies because I already did a quarter and so you can see um, just that second line over where the strap is to give it a, to keep it a little bit more secure. And then I'm going to trim these corners, just the corner, just of the fabric, not of the strap. I did the same thing with the um, top strap attachment piece and the strap. And um, so I did my quarter inch seam allowance on these three edges. And then I did another at an eighth of an inch right here over the strap for a little extra support. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to um, Pull these right side out, press them, and then we're going to top stitch. I have now pressed my strap attachment pieces, and I'm going to top stitch on both of them um, the same seams that we just sewed together. Um, and I'm going to do the top stitching with um, a slightly longer stitch length, and then I'm going to do that about an eighth of an inch away from the edges. Okay, so you can see it um, top stitched, and then I'm also going to go ahead and um, I'm going to trim this, these little corners that kind of poke down, um, and then I do like to make this um, even across, so I'll even that out as well. The last step for um, that we've got in store for these straps is we're going to base them to the back panel piece. So if you think about how you're going to wear this, this is the back and we want the front to go this way. Once you, once you, uh, once you sew it together, it's going to, going to be like that. So we want back sides, the back side of the connector to go 
face together with the uh, right side of the back panel. So this is my um, bottom strap. And then we've got the top strap. This is the right side, um, the front side. So this is the back side. We want the back side together, right sides together with the panel itself. So then that one's gonna go in there. And so um, what you wanna do to be able to center these is you wanna mark the centers if you, have, if you don't already have it marked. Um, I am really bad at doing that. So I usually just fold, fold, and I'll make a um, snip right there to do the center. And I'll do that on all the pieces. I'll do it here, fold in half. Um, I can actually just usually do it with a crease. Center mark and center mark. And that's where I will baste it. So um, the basting stitch wants to, you need to have within the quarter inch seam allowance. So um, I usually do it at about an eighth of an inch. So I'm gonna do that and then I will show you. I'm back at the cutting table and I have just basted the um, strap attachments to the back panel. This is the top, the bottom. We've got our straps. I um, connected mine together, make sure they were going in the same uh, correct direction. And they are, because you want this facing you, because this is going to be worn on your back. This will be against your back. And um, my strap attachment did go a little bit over the edge of these rounded corners, so I just um, followed the rounded corner and trimmed it. But as you can see, when this flips up, when you have your whole thing sewn together, this is the part that will be shown on the back, and this is the part that will be on the front. Which, again, I, in my head, I was like, okay, Han's to the front, which is fine. Um, but yeah, so you can see Han is to the front on that one like that. And that's how this one will be. And that's it for day two.